Meet Shenanosaurus barbaricus, one of the last dinosaurs living in Africa just before the asteroid impact that wiped them out 66 million years ago and just discovered. A fossilized piece of jawbone, the only clue to its existence. That's how you know it's a dinosaur. Enough for Dr. Longrich at the University of Bath in England to realize its importance. We have a pretty good picture of the dinosaurs from North America for this time period, but we don't have a good picture of what's going on in the rest of the world. And we know almost nothing about the African dinosaurs from this time period. So it's the first uh, named dinosaur from the end of the Cretaceous period in Africa, in fact. The fossil was found in a phosphate mine in Morocco, but it's related to the North American T-Rex, albeit a lot smaller than its ferocious famous relative. It's a discovery that may end debate over whether or not the dinosaurs were thriving just before the asteroid brought about their mass extinction. In some ways, I wouldn't say it's necessarily shocking, but it's interesting to see evidence confirming that dinosaurs remained successful and the fauna stayed pretty stable up until the end of the Cretaceous period in Africa. So I think there's no evidence, as far as I'm concerned, of a decline in dinosaur diversity approaching the extinction. And if it hadn't been for this asteroid, we'd probably still have dinosaurs here today. Longrich says one mystery may never be answered. Why Shenanosaurus had even smaller arms than T-Rex.